Oh my goodness, this has been on my bucket list of things to find. $2.99 for a plush light up Hess truck. You will never guess how much these sell on eBay for. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Saturday morning about 10 o'clock and I just pulled up to Goodwill. I'm really early this morning so I'm hoping there'll be lots of good things for us to see and look at and buy. Uh, there's a brand new color of the day today. We'll have to make sure we know what it is so we know what items are just a dollar. Let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! It's another beautiful November day here in Las Vegas. It's about 65 degrees this morning. Absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot, so I'm anticipating it being quite busy, but that's okay. They always stock, restock heavily on a Saturday, so I'm sure there'll be lots and lots of things for us to look at and choose from. Let's go inside. Color of the day is purple. Be on the lookout for purple tags because they're just $1. We'll try and navigate our way through here to the hard goods. I have some great news on our house. We met with the contractor on Thursday. Absolutely loved him. He had some brilliant ideas, brilliant suggestions for uh, remodeling the bathroom, things I'd never even thought of. So we're anxiously waiting his quote and uh, hopefully we should have that early next week. Also, if you are in Las Vegas or visiting Vegas, this weekend is the third weekend of the month and it's our vintage market booth at the fantastic vintage market. So come down and see us. The details are in the description. Here we are in the hard goods and right off the bat, I'm seeing Tanala. Look at this beautiful duck. He's vintage, he's an old piece. He's 99 cents, oh my goodness. And he has a little green friend here who's also 99 cents. What a great start to the trip. Let's get these in the cart. I'm so excited, those are fantastic. As I always say, if you find something you like, keep looking. There may be more. This is a really sweet little carved bird. He's got wire feet. I'm just trying to see if there's a signature. I'm not sure, but I really like him. He's possibly missing an eye, but that can be replaced. I'm definitely going to grab him too. Let's see what else they have here frog candle. Oh, look at this little Buddha. I think he's resin. Really nicely detailed for $1.99. I'll take him. Lots of people here today. I'm having to squish in next to the shelves. Oh, I like this horse. Look at him. He's almost a drip glaze. I love the black with the different colors dripping down. He's got a white mane. Have a look at that pumpkin. That's nothing special. He's really nicely done. Just love that finish. And for 69 cents, how can you say no? Ooh, I just sold a couple of these cows on Poshmark to a customer whose aunt has a cow farm. And they asked me to please look out for more. So yay, two more right here. Little cow banks, $1.99 a piece. I can't wait to give them the good news that I found a couple more. Let's get them in the cart. Please keep your children with you. 
We're in the candle section. This is a massive, almost a hurricane made of candle. It's a little trinket box back here. It's quite lightweight. It's $2.99. The top piece is glued on a bit weirdly, so I'm going to leave that for someone else. Keeping my fingers crossed for some glassy baby. I want to find a glassy baby votive. They're marked really well on the bottom. So fingers crossed for one of those. Lots of big hurricane shades. Some little coasters. Let's see. This is a little girl holding a doll. It's Department 56. And it has a $35 price tag on it. So because of that, I'm going to pop it in the cart. More candles. I think I always look at these. <laughs> What's this little doctor back here? Looks like a, oh, this is Gans. Little Gans doctor cup with a lid. They want $4.99, but I think these only sell for about $15. So I'm going to leave him. Oh, this looks like uh, Mexican pottery also. A little Talavera cross for $1.99. No chips, no cracks. I'll take it. Make sure you look all over the shelves. Don't miss anything. See some Indiana glass uh, turtles and a frog back there. They're only worth about 15. These plates aren't anything special. No, we'll leave those. More collector plates, which I tend to steer clear of because they're just so saturated on eBay. Checking through the crystal. Remember last time we found that Waterford uh, vase. Just keeping my eye out on the off chance that there's another one. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. One of my subscribers suggested to me that I use um, candle sticks as risers for some of my Christmas trees and I thought that was a great idea and this one for a dollar, because it's purple, would be perfect. Just want to have a look at the shell dish back here. Oh, that's really lightweight. Not very good quality. And it has a little crack in it. That's a shame. Let's put it over here. There we go. You can tell a lot by picking up clear glass. You can tell the quality. So do pick things up and feel their weight. Lots of things we've seen before. More plates. There's those bass plates from last time. That poor flower with the chips is still here. Some bird cages, not very good quality. Here we are in the Christmas section. A couple of project pieces here. They just uh, don't do anything for me, these ones. I'm going to leave those for someone else. 
Lots of plush. Ornaments. Make your own polar ice. That looks like a target piece. It is a target for three dollars. Let's leave that one. Lots of cards and wrappings and bows, tissue, bags. This is a great place to come for all your Christmas wrapping needs. Ribbon. Now we're in the metal section and I just noticed this lamp. It's brass with a green center. It's made in Taiwan. It's really nicely done. I'm going to put that in the cart. I just spotted the crate and barrel sticker and that tells me buy it. <laughs> Three ninety nine. It's a really nice long wall sconce. It looks like a banana leaf with a candle uh, holder there. Hangs on the wall. Let's get that in the cart. That might be a possible decor piece for the new house. We'll have to see if it goes. This is a bowl with glass leaves. Not very good quality and the paint's chipping off and the leaves aren't glued on very well. So let's leave that. Some more coasters. It's a sun, an outdoor metal sun for $2.99. I think I'm going to pop that in the cart and think about it. Let's put it underneath here with the sconce. There we go. It's Coco Pele. I'm still on the lookout for a wire holder for my uh, chip and dip from Anchor Hocking. I uh, very hard to recognize when they're just laying on the shelf. <laughs> this is an outdoor cross. This is quite a nice piece too. Two ninety nine. I think I'll pop that in the cart and think about that. It does have some paint on the back and it's a bit uh, skewed, a bit bent. But I'll think about it. This poor little giraffe is missing an ear. That's such a shame. We'll have to leave him. This rooster napkin holders are very lightweight and cheaply made. Looking at all the wire pieces. It's a candle holder. Not very impressed with the quality of that, so we'll leave it. It's another outdoor decorative piece that's very bent. And some sconces. Lots of wire baskets. It's quite nice. I'm going to grab this uh, organizer for my new pantry. Let's pop that in the cart. Lots of black wire or metal sconces. Just racks and baskets, organizers. Ooh. It's a nice threshold picture frame. It's 
sort of floating glass with wire. I'll take that for two dollars. Looking at the platters for silver plate or silver, hammered aluminium, Wendell August Forge. This is an interesting sconce, very green and curvy. <laughs> it's a fruit bowl. Checking the top shelf. Oh, look at this. It's a fun little duck. Nice quality wire basket. Little wings are handles. That's really sweet. So we're moving into the planters and vases. The florals. It's having to squish in so someone can get by here. Let's see what we can find. Some of these pieces have been here a while. What's this? That's just made to look old. does that say? That's just a little modern saucer there, I think. We'll leave that. Little bamboo vases. kind of like the finish of that but it's got a weird metal bottom that's glued on a little off center what's this oh I really love the shape of this this is signed I like the glaze I like the blue with the little speckles and it's only a dollar ninety nine. Let's get that. Let's check down here. I think I've looked at that before. Let's have a look at this jug back here. Oh, no, that's really lightweight. This, I believe, is a Pampered Chef pizza stone. Almost positive that's what it is. Yes, that's seen some good use. <laughs> that's a modern piece, very lightweight. Some clear glass vases here. Oh, that's a heavy crystal bowl. I want $15 for that. Not really seeing anything jumping out at me here. There's another little Christmas shelf at the end here that I missed. This looks like a incense burner. Ooh, these are nice. 
three different metallic colored reindeer ornaments for $3.99. I'll take those. They're a nice heavy weight. Nice set. Just turned around to the other side of the shelf. Now I'm way up top there's baskets, some apples. It's a quite nice basket. Unfortunately, it's a bit scratched up on the green part there, so I'll leave that. These look like bookends. Two massive gold orbs for $5.99 a piece. Ooh, look at this candle holder. It's a really nice wood piece. I love the grain and the knots in it. I think it's pine. It's obviously hand carved. The cracks don't bother me. They just give it some age and some history. $1.99. That goes in the cart. Don't be afraid to mix and match candle holders. It's very trendy right now to uh, have a set of similar ones but not just the same. Oh, this unicorn is fun. He's old. It's a little weird and weird cells. So for $2, I think I will pop him in the cart. Lots more baskets. These look like false graph. Yep, they are. Those candle risers are still there. Lots of signs and knife uh, blocks. Not really sure what this is. Might just be a minimalist frame for hanging. Lots and lots of signs, plaques. Oh, what's this? Looks like a little music box. Yep, there's the key taped in there. That's nice. Made in Italy music box dancer, $5.99. It's a really nice inlaid wood box, so I'm going to take it. Look at these. Oh, I know what these are. These are cabinet door samples. Have a look at this artwork under here in a minute. It's another door sample. That's uh, a game there. Yep, I'm going to unstack these and have a look at the artwork that's underneath. There we go. Someone was trying to choose the color for their kitchen cabinets, I think. <laughs> The Navajo Woman, M. Aki. There's three pieces here. I wonder if they're all signed. No, that one's not signed. Neither is this one. I'm going to look up this artist and see um, if M. Aki is a well known. Navajo painter. My seven year old Jake loves these freezable mugs that keep your drink cold, and I think he'd really think this toxic poison one was a cool thing. I'm going to get it for him. <laughs> Let's just check the rest of the shelf to see if there's anything else. Ooh. Probably going to need some organizers for my desk drawer. Unfortunately, this one's really scratched up and cracked. This is an oversized owl mug by 222 Fifth. I'm going to look this up on eBay just to see what they sell for. Just having a look to see if there are any other mugs that catch my eye. This is a little Japanese teacup. The resale value 
just isn't there on a single saucer and this one is damaged it's lost some paint there as you can see we'll leave that one not really seeing anything else that's interesting I'm trying to be good on mugs because they're not really a good profit maker now that I've said that I've seen this Minecraft square mug for $3.99 and uh, if this doesn't sell on eBay Jake will absolutely love it <laughs> Lots and lots of mugs. Not the healthiest of suggestions. Here we are in the clear glass and drinking glasses and one of my subscribers uh, suggested that these Paris uh, martini glasses sold very well for her daughter so they're still here and I am going to grab them and see how they do for me at Paris Hotel Las Vegas a really nice cobalt blue stem frosted top we'll see these Mexican glass margarita glasses are still here. Not very good quality, sadly. Southern Comfort margarita glasses. That's interesting. Haven't seen those before. These are quite pretty frosted leaf and floral with a gold rim it's having a look for a maker's mark don't see anything on there and there's only two so I think I'm going to leave them let me put it back with its friend over here there we go Just looking for uh, liquor brand names. And any sets of four glasses that are really nice quality. Going to grab these Southern Comfort glasses just because they're unique. I've never seen uh, the Southern Comfort on a margarita glass before. So I think they will do well on eBay. I'm spotting back here Mickey Mouse ears. Mickey Mouse ears are always a good bet. This is a Disney glass. Just a single, but Disney and Mickey Mouse is one of the exceptions to the rule where a single is okay. These are gorgeous. They're green with a blue base. There's four of them. I really like those. 99 cents each. I spot more Mickey ears back here. This is a wine glass with a black base. Uh, black, uh, yeah, base. Definitely a good find. Jack Daniels Gentleman Jack measuring glass. I'm not familiar with how this uh, particular one does, so I'm going to look this up on eBay. These are Corel's Ivy pattern. They just don't uh, bring the profit margin I need on eBay, so I'm going to leave them for someone else. This candlestick seems to match the smaller one we got for a dollar over in the candle section. So I'm going to take that. 
Just having a look through the clear glass. I think I got one of these a while back. Didn't realize they were actually plates. We're in the kitcheny bits and I just spotted this lovely frosted planter with stampeding horses all over it. It's gorgeous. It's quite heavy. $4.99. Really nice look to it. And I know somebody who will be getting that as part of their Christmas present. Let's move this over so we can safely pop it right there. There we go. Make sure it's not going to fall. Okay. This looks like Thomas Kincaid. It is Thomas Kincaid by Avon. Sadly, Avon just doesn't bring the profit margin I need. This is a Goldinger pineapple. Again, this will only bring about $15, $18 on eBay. Not quite where we need to be. Oh, look at this lovely crystal butter dish. It's oversized, really nice quality. $4.99, I'll take that. I think I looked at these salt and peppers before. I like them, but they aren't the best quality, as is this, very lightweight. Seeing over here, it has friends. I guess it's a spice jar set. Lots of odds and ends. This Temptations uh, Baker is still there for five dollars, six dollars. More coasters. These are Halloween-y, we're just past that, so I'll leave those. This is quite a nice pedestal cake stand with fruits on it. What's this? Vases by the Wynn Hotel. Not really sure about those. Let's have a look at this. Now, that's... Not very good quality, very lightweight. Oh, there's another thing here. Oh, little owl coasters. They're black, vintage with gold and silver owls for 99 cents. That's a good find. I'll take those. It's a gravy boat. A massive cloche. Lots of pots and pans. I got scolded in the comments for not looking at pots and pans, but really not my thing. You can't do everything. This is a hammered aluminium dish, but not branded, so I'll leave it. Oh, look at these cute little clothes pegs. There's hippos and ducks. Looks like a dolphin. How fun. $2.99, I'll take those. nice candle holder appears to be signed on the bottom under the sticker but there's a huge chip out of it massive dent sadly we'll need to leave that Sorry. 
Look at this Better Homes cookbook. It's a binder. These are so highly sought after. They really bring good money on eBay. How many of you had one of these in your family, your mom or your grandma? Wow. $5.99. I have to take that. Let's pop it down here safely. There we go. Oh my goodness, this has been on my bucket list of things to find. $2.99 for a plush light up Hess truck. You will never guess how much these sell on eBay for. Used, they are $60, brand new, upwards of 150 to 200. Let's see if there's anything else on this shelf, but that'll be hard to beat. Some cute little Easter salt and peppers. Yeah, I think this shelf's just about exhausted. We've popped around the corner onto this end cap and there are some lovely knit or oh, crocheted Christmas stockings. This one has a J for Jake. Unfortunately, that one's N instead of M for my daughter Miley. But I love this J. And I'm also seeing this lovely Christmas tree one here that's crocheted and knitted. Willow Hill Knit Designs. That's gorgeous. I'm going to take that one too. It's got pom-poms on the top. <laughs> Taking this uh, Christmas bag for our family use. 99 cents. It's so easy just to pop a gift in a bag, isn't it? There's a couple more here. Thinking about those as well. It's some little plastic bags full of ornaments. Let's have a look at these. Always take a look at these plastic bags because one ornament can often make the whole thing worthwhile. Not seeing anything that I have to have in here. They're quite pretty, but I think I'm going to leave those for somebody else. There's one more bag up here with ribbons and bows. There's another bag here. It's got some blue crystal ornaments in and a strand of tinsel. I really like these blue ornaments. They'd be great for somebody celebrating Hanukkah. So I'm going to take those. It's a Hallmark plate. There's the Kimple sleigh. It's still here, missing its reindeer. That's really sad. I hope the reindeer shows up and somebody gets the set. Just having another look through. They've been putting some uh, restocking items out. Oh goodness, this gorgeous recycled glass square tray is still here. It's super heavy, really nice. It's only $2. I think I have to have it. Look at this little pig. He's so fun. He's metal. He's quite heavy. He's all swirly and fat with a curly tail. Only $2. Definitely going to grab him. <laughs>
just having a look in the clock section and I saw this France de Paris it's a double-sided hanging clock it runs on batteries that's really unique you'd probably put it on a um, a bar or a hanger and uh, it's obviously two-sided just having one more go through the vases and planters and I'm noticing this Navajo Native American uh, vase vessel but sadly it's got a huge chip and repair right there and for that reason I am going to leave it I believe it's signed by J. Johnson Oh, look at this little vase. I just love the lines and shape of this. And the colors and the glaze are absolutely gorgeous. It's only 99 cents. That's just a bit of smudge on the inside there. Definitely going to take that. Really nice. Let's see if there's anything else. What's this back here? It's like a little strawberry punnet. Oh, it's lightweight. Made in China. Let's leave that. One more go through the glasses. What is this? La Muse. I'm not familiar with this, but it's very interesting really big oversized glass it's 3.99 i'm going to look it up on ebay just to see what it's worth and see if it's worth picking up let's find a spot back in the first aisle this is a department 56 little house perfect for christmas it's only 99 cents I'm going to grab it. And right next to it is this gorgeous piece of amethyst with some crystals there. $5.99. That's a deal. Definitely going to get it. Oh my goodness. We have a really full table for the haul today. And Bandit is having a bath. My baby. <laughs> First, we have something that I don't think I got on camera. A pair of Allegria sandals. I paid $9.99 for them and I value them at $40 to $45. Next we have the Hess light up truck. There he goes. I turned off the sound just because it's quite loud. <laughs> I paid $2.99 for this and I value it at $60. Next we have our Artesania Rinconada Fox. He is a red fox. He's beautiful, no damage. See if I can show you his little marking on the base. There we go. I paid 99 cents for him and I value him at $45. This is a really lovely set of metal reindeer ornaments. There's a silver one a pink gold and a gold. They're actually metal and I value 
the set at $30. This is a really fun little metal pig. He's got a swirly body, a curly tail. He's all metal. He's got quite a surprised look on his little face. He's really lovely. I paid $1.99 for him and I value him at $25. Next we have a little Italian music box. It's marked Made in Italy on the bottom. It plays Music Box Dancer. It has the key. It does have a few tension cracks on the lid on the inside there but the inlaid wood is really gorgeous it's burled on the top and inlaid all around key is present i value it at 25 dollars this is a target threshold picture frame I paid $1.99 for it and I plan on giving it to one of my children. It, I value it right around $15. Now this beautiful piece of pottery is quite a mystery here. It's lovely. It's a gorgeous blue and grey and brown glaze. I want to say it says R bloom are lime but I haven't been able to find the artist online anywhere it's a gorgeous piece if anybody knows who this artist is or what his pieces are valued at please leave me a comment below I would be very grateful for any information Next we have this gorgeous hand-carved pine candle holder. It's really beautifully made. I love the knots and swirls of the wood. It's glazed gorgeously. I paid $1.99 for it and I value it at $30. This is a little lantern. It's brass and glass. It's a hurricane style. I believe it's for oil. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it at $25. Here we have two square wooden canisters. They each have the same ceramic, I believe it's ceramic inlaid, little picture, Americana style, three little houses, farmhouses and uh, farm animals, and a man and a woman working on the farm. They're really lovely. They're in nice condition. I paid $5 for both of them and I value them at $25. This is a brand new gorgeous Willow Hill stocking. It's knitted and it has uh, either crocheted or knitted pom-poms on the top beautifully done here's the brand new with tag I paid $4.99 for it and I value it at $20 to $25 I think I mentioned in the video that one of my lovely subscribers mentioned that candle sticks would be perfect 
to act as risers for some of my uh, Christmas tree uh, collection. I collect solid glass and some ceramic Christmas trees and I display them all as a lovely little forest at Christmas time. And I think it's a super idea just to pop one or two of them on these candlesticks just to give some height. So we'll see how that works out this Christmas. Hopefully we will be in our new house uh, and able to celebrate Christmas there. I love this planter. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of a hunter green and brown glaze. It's not signed, unfortunately, but it's just a really lovely piece. And I am going to add this to my collection for a while. I found two more of these really pretty hand painted lasting products wall plaques. I think I have five from last week and I also found a whole bag of these gorgeous butterflies which are also lasting uh, what did I say lasting products they're ceramic and they have a little hole they each have a little hole in the back that you can hang them on the wall in sort of a, a flutter of butterflies. There's maybe 10 in the bag. I think a couple of them are chipped or cracked, but they are really beautiful. I value the plaques at 12 to $15 each and the butterflies at eight to $10 each. Here we have a little resin Buddha. I just thought he was really fun and detailed. He's got a leaf in one hand and a beautiful flower in the other hand. He was $1.99 and I value him at $12 to $15. This is a Mexican pottery, possibly Tonala cross. It was $1.99 and I value it at $15 to $20. This set of owl coasters is so mid-century, so retro. They are black lacquerware with gold and silver. They're really fun. They're all the same. There's five of them. Sorry, there's four of them actually. And I value the set at $25. This is a really sweet carved wood little bird. He's really nicely done. The grain of the wood looks just like his wing is folded back. He's got uh, an inlaid piece of wood as his beak. Unfortunately, one eye is missing, but I think that could be colored in with a brown pen. Perhaps I could have Miley do that if somebody is interested in purchasing the bird. He has little wire feet. I paid $3.99 for him and I value him at $20. I believe this little horse is a project piece, but his glaze is absolutely beautiful. The colors used, the greens and oranges and yellow with brown, it's absolutely stunning. Whoever did this did a super job. He's got one little white hoof, the rest are black. He was only 69 cents and I value him at $20. I have two department 56 pieces. The first is this lovely little girl in an old fashioned dress playing with a doll. 
There's the Department 56 sticker. She has a Christiansen's price tag of $35 on her. I paid 99 cents for her and I value her at $20. Similarly, with this little house, it's also Department 56. It's perfect for a little Christmas display. I paid 99 cents for it. And again, value it at $20. As many of you know, I do have a love for Tanala animals. And the very first thing I found on this trip was two Tanala ducks. So I was absolutely thrilled. They are older Tanala. The sky is beautifully painted. He was uh, 99 cents. There were two, two labels on him. One was 99 cents and the other was 199. The lovely lady at the checkout charged me 99 cents for this one and also for the sweet little green one here so i was thrilled with those those will be going into my small yet dignified tanala collection this is a gorgeous oversized butter dish it's crystal it's really heavy lovely for the holidays i value it at 25 dollars i did really well in the glass section on this trip i found two very unusual southern comfort margarita glasses it says southern comfort please drink southern comfort responsibly i've never actually seen these before they were only 69 cents and I value them at $30 to $35 for the pair. As I mentioned in the video, one of my subscribers suggested that I pick up these Paris martini glasses if they were still there, which they were. She said that her daughter has done really well selling these on eBay and uh, at $0.99 cents a piece. I took a chance on them and I value them at $30 to $35 for the pair. I thought this set of green and blue glasses were stunning. They're heavy glass tumblers and I don't know if you can see but the base is a gorgeous cobalt blue color, almost a submerso effect. The top is green, beautifully made, a couple of bubbles. They do appear to be handmade because they're all just a little bit different in height and shape. They're absolutely lovely. I value them at $45 to $50 for the set. I got lucky enough to find two Disney Mickey Mouse glasses. This first one has the Mickey ears around the top and the base is black. I paid 69 cents. I value it at 20 to $25. Similarly with this beer glass, this is really nice and heavy. It's got a plethora of Mickeys at the top there. This one was 99 cents and I value it at 25 to $30. This was another unusual find for me, La Muse. I believe it is a European uh, product. It's a really lovely big glass. 100 CLs. <laughs> it was $3.99 and I value it at $25 to $30. Popping back over here, we have a gorgeous Better Homes and Gardens 
new cookbook binder. It's absolutely lovely. It's got tons of recipes in it. Let's take a little look here. You open it up. It's got all the tabs, appetizers, barbecue, beverages, desserts, and poultry, all kinds of tabs, nutrition analysis, shaping dinner rolls, and all sorts of amazing recipes. I'm sure this brings back memories for many of you, and it's in super condition. Really nice. I paid $5.99 for it and I value it at $25 to $30. Now this guy was just creepy and unusual enough for me to pick up. It's a unicorn inlaid in wood. 70s style he has a hanger on the back i paid 199 and i value him at 20 dollars look at this amazing goose egg basket its wings are the handles he is so fun i believe he is vintage I paid $2.99 for him and I value him at $25. Down here we have the horse planter. It has racing mustangs all over it in frosted relief. It's really lovely. I paid $4.99 for it. And this will be going to my dear friend for Christmas. I'm sure many of you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> Just as I said I wasn't going to be picking up any more mugs, I found this great... Zach Minecraft mug. Zach is a really fun brand. They do lots of different character mugs. This one is Minecraft. I paid $3.99 for it. I value it at $20. This was a fun bag. These are perfect for Hanukkah. Little blue gems. I think there's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven of them in the bag. And I value these at $20 for the lot. Under here is my gorgeous heavy square recycled glass serving tray. There's no mark on it, but it's super heavy. And I think I will use this at our new house. Actually, I am just seeing right now that there is a signature there. Do you see that? It's right here. Pascal, it says. I'm trying to get the camera focused so you can see that. There he is. Pascal. Anyway, I paid $1.99 for it. And right after this, I will be looking up Pascal to see what its value is. My son is going to love this mug. It's one of those mugs that you turn upside down, you put it in the freezer, and it freezes uh, the outside layer of the mug so your drink stays cold when you pour it inside. It says 100% pure toxic poison hazard. So he's just going to think that's hilarious. Paid 69 cents and his face is going to be priceless. <laughs> I 
These are vintage clothes pegs. There are three ducks. There's two hippos and one hippo appears to have been left out in the Vegas sun and he's a little misshapen. There's a dolphin and a crocodile. And also in the bag were some sh uh, suction shower hooks. I value the pegs at $20 for all. Last but not least, I mentioned in the video, one of my Poshmark customers asked me to be on the lookout for more cows for their lovely aunt who has a cow farm. And luckily enough, the first day I went, I found two, these two lovely little piggy banks. I paid $1.99 for them and I value them at $12 each. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the haul. If you see something you're interested in, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas dot tiffany at gmail.com and we'll see you next time. Bye.